How's it going everybody? I know I'm quite a few days late with the video about last Thursday's patch. Still, I want to show some of the differences and explain some things that are possible now. And many of you already had the chance to play with the changes for a few days, so you probably figured out some of this stuff by yourselves. And while some of these changes were quite welcome, we are still in need of some additional ones, mostly in the hitbox department. But it's probably also a good point now to just wait and see for a few weeks how the character will fare. At the moment it seems like he's pretty much average, with the big complaint that it's annoying to fight multiple of them. What a completely unexpected thing, nobody could have seen that one coming. More on that in a future video. For now, let's just go through the patch notes and take a closer look at what exactly changed. The first change was to Kazakhstan's as a recovery cancel. You can now enter Kazakhstan's earlier after various recoveries, be that hit, block or whiff. The patch notes state that it's at 200 ms now and it used to be 266 for lights and 366 from heavies. This goes for neutral attacks as well as finisher attacks. This obviously helps in team fights, trying to defend against peel attempts, but it also changes a few things in 1v1 scenarios. Similar to Aramusha, you now have an additional way to deal with people that dodge attack your very first indicator. Mind you, this is not as strong a recovery cancel as blade blockade. The timing is pretty tight and fast dodge attacks can still hit you out of the startup. Another thing this affects are in-chain attacks with Kazakhstan's, especially the unblockable was very prone to being interrupted. It is safe for now, but you still need to keep in mind what hit or block stun you've put your opponent in. This means you have a safer way to throw a different type of unblockable instead of your combo bash. So while facing someone with really good reactions, you might be able to mix them up by feinting the unblockable to guard break, as they dodged on orange, expecting the chain bash. And one more thing, this also affects frame advantage. Previously, if you wanted to stay plus after a light finisher, you had to go into Kazakhstan's light. Now Kazakhstan's zone also allows you to maintain frame advantage. Then the next change are to his chain links. The wording on the patch notes here is important. It says, attacks link to finishes, at 200 ms. The important part here is that it says finishes, meaning there is no quicker link to the bash, which could have resulted in some unwanted guaranteed moves. Biggest consequence here is that a light into heavy can no longer be interrupted. Spaniard made a whole video showcasing clips from before the patch and explaining this more in depth. So if you're interested in that, follow the link that pops up in the top right or check the video description after you finish with this video here. Then the next changes to the combo bash, it now has additional forward movement. This should open up some more backstab light shenanigans. Additionally, the follow up light from the bash can now be target swapped. Next change is Tengu Kaze is now more difficult to dodge. I personally hate wordings like that, especially when the change comes completely out of the blue. Getting dodge windows is a little bit of a pain in the ass. Well, it is time intensive, so we don't really do it all that often. And I don't like to solely rely on what people feel is different now. I'd rather have the numbers, but oh well. Then Fujin cuts have had their stamina cost reduced by half, each one used to cost 6, and it's now 3. The Fujin stars light now deals less damage, from 12 down to 8. Then the unique tier 1 feat got buffed, the bleed portion of it had its damage increased from 3 to 4 per tick. That's now 16 damage over the course of 4 seconds. Factoring in the tier 2, this can lead to some substantial health swings. 
you're doing damage to the opponent while healing at the same time, thus widening the gap between the two health bars. We are looking at a 53 health swing on the top unblockable, for example. You can do the math yourself for all possible scenarios. But do not underestimate the buff to the tier 1, just because it's only an increase of 1 damage. Then for the recovery of the kick, the patch notes say it's been lowered from 800 to 600. When we measure the recoveries, we include the extra 100 ms from whiffs. That is why you see the value being 700 on screen, but it did indeed get lowered by 200. This now only allows for GB's on early dodges. They also fixed the bouncy ball interaction where you would get pushed out of range if you dodged into the kick. Then a singular hitbox fix, Mujukaze's trajectory was adjusted, that is the zone attack out of Kazi's stance. Well it's a good start, let's see how far that'll carry the hero. Then the GB vulnerability of the Kazakhstan light, I've mentioned this multiple times already, it used to be 0, so you could basically counter guard break with the attack. This has now been adjusted to be 100ms like all other lights. You can see my stamina being drained ever so slightly before the guard break connects, which means I tried throwing an attack. And then one last change. Fixed an issue where follow-ups were too difficult to use if players blocked multiple attacks with Kazistans. I have no clue what that's supposed to mean to be honest. The only real problem I have when blocking multiple attacks with Kazistans is that I have no fucking stamina. Which also makes follow-ups kinda difficult. But yeah, feel free to explain this one to me. I'll leave you with that. How many more adjustments this character needs, or rather how many he will still get, remains to be seen. He ticks a lot of boxes in terms of fashion and style points, but I don't think he can quite compete with all the current top tier characters. We can check back in a few weeks and see if he's far enough above the bottom tier. Feel free to share your predictions here. Again, sorry for being late with this video, but I still hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. Laters everybody.